the signs are there being hacked um, views being taken away from the channel no comments on amazing videos revealing videos anyways um, today we're going to talk about UFOs on the moon but we're going to talk about living creatures could it be possible that creatures exist on the moon what I found remains a UFO it's a light moving erratically on the surface they don't look like UFOs at all and that's what I want us to analyze today we always talk about theory here um, you know I get people mad which you know I sort of like it because it's just I like controversy and I like waking people up and I like people um, you know getting emotional about certain findings and you know YouTube we all go to YouTube to find our most amazing videos there are amazing videos it's the devil I guess right because you have um, the most amazing videos and you have the most evil videos um, you have lies you have truth and you and I have to decipher through all of that without knowing exactly what is true and what is not we have to depend on people whether we trust them or not and you know it's a big job you know if you're looking for truth and if you're um, if you have a certain belief system where you want to um, look deeper into your belief system and you want to either add or take away anything uh, in your mind after seeing this research but I'm telling you um, these are objects that are on the moon I showed in my research that there are clouds and hazes whether they're natural or not as you'll see in this video I've showed um, that there are UFOs changing directions on the surface they're leaving trails of smoke and this should be headlines in in the news absolutely it's not going to this channel but I do hope that things like you know ABC CBC or news or MUFON or DARPA or any UFO association that is looking for truth real truth because there's a lot of frauds out there I hope someone um, in their heart understands and hears me that I'm not looking for fame but I do want this research to get out can get out without my name getting out I don't care but I think people should know about it so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks to all new members more member videos coming up let's get to it hi welcome everyone to Bruce Cizal astronomy channel I study ufology um, we have problems here Darla sent this in a very helpful community member to the channel so here she is she tries to comment to Cindy on my channel she sees a gray face she starts typing the letters in to respond with her comment, but the letters are superimposing themselves over one another with a pink box, not being able to write anything to anyone, except, for example, if Cindy and I are having a conversation, well, she can sometimes join in and there's not even a, a face or gray face there at all. She could say, hi, send it, and it works and I can see her but aside from that she cannot respond to anyone and I think it's absolutely very very sad I have Andromeda native that can't get uh, um, any contributions or even get to the live streams so I'll be checking that out really uh, closely I've warned YouTube channel please be patient everybody but I want this I wanted this to be shown so that people know that yes there is a problem so maybe you're not alone if you're having problems to get on the channel and I assure you it's not me blocking you Let's head to the moon and look at some serious research, some serious findings that are both concerning, interesting, intriguing, fascinating, scary as hell. It has every emotions that run through your body when you find out, could it be possible that someone is up there on the moon? Whether they're living there or not, I believe they are, but I have no proof of that, but I have a lot of proof of objects moving around. And as for shapes of alien crafts, well, I've never really spoken, not really, never have said that I've gotten an alien craft anywhere because UFOs are unidentified flying objects but this object is flying over the moon that looks both square and round I don't know if you can understand there's a light coming from it we saw it in the last video um, I'm trying to zoom up as much as I can and it's the maximum and that at the back could be pixelation at the same time that jumps at the last frame there boom doesn't mean but again when UFOs go by on the moon that's how I pick them up and they can be seen and this object is a rare capture again because it's again it doesn't look like it's on the moon it looks like it's over the moon but what about this one now first of all guys and gals clean your screen this is Theophilus Crater turn down the lights I hope 
you're not during the day because you're not going to see anything. Well, you know, you got to be blind to pretend that you don't see what I'm showing you. But even if it's hard to see, some people get so, you know, aggressive and mad because they want to see things clearer. Well, say to yourself, this is Theophilus Crater. This is very close and we're looking at the edge of Theophilus Crater. And what we are seeing is an actual object either in the air that seems to be on the surface anyways when you look at it so it could be either in the air or on the surface but again over Theophilus crater now I've showed at least 15 craters with UFOs um, coming out going in them going over them uh, proof that you know something is up there on the moon and everyone's preoccupied with the UFOs here around earth Winnipeg Canada for one um, during the pandemic it's uh, the UFO sightings have been up 50% Maybe most of you don't remember, but a lot of people were coming here, some good people, and they still are, that were asking me to prove that it was touching the moon. They wanted to see shadows. They wanted to see lights on the surface. They wanted to see the smokes and hazes interacting around the UFOs. And the minute I was able to produce that with the 14-inch telescope, well, then it became a goal for everyone to talk about, one, that focal length was impossible, the moon was impossible to reach. There's thousands, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of images of the moon, but yet people still think, you know, or try to make people believe that you can't get to the moon. What about lights in one area and many miles away illuminating at the same time? That's near impossible, right? Well, in reality, I've had several incidences, gases coming out of creatures, right? Because that's what all I can say is that these whatever don't look like UFOs. They still are, I get it, because they're unidentified flying objects. But can we say unidentified flying sort of look like living objects? That's what I think. We're talking theory, theory here, guys. I know most of you appreciate it, but uh, it doesn't matter as mad as people will get. I'm showing UFOs teleporting themselves from the surface. And why am I saying teleporting? Because you're seeing, you just saw the light appear. I'm gonna show you that light disappearing, but in slow motion so that you could see the smokes, hazes, lights, and interaction with the surface. So that is an amazing um, progress in my research. And not a lot of people really understand that. Uh, didn't think it was that easy to fake these UFOs. Apparently they are, but yet we still don't see any, right? And what I'd be risking this while MUFON is, even just recently, has already talked about one. You know that famous uh, three UFOs going with a shadow over the moon that everyone's flashing around. It's fake bullcrap. It's fake, right? And, well, that's what uh, MUFON also thinks. But this, no one's talking about it. And I'm not mad or upset about anybody not talking about it. Most likely, they're not allowed to talk about it. There's certain sightings that would have to be vetted before being spoken about, for sure, declassified, right? This, for me, remains classified. But because I will not get vetted, it will only be um, regular YouTube footage. But I'm showing you, again here, the UFO changing places, teleporting, appearing, and disappearing. Everyone says, Bruce, the structures are huge. Show us some large structures. But that's exactly what I'm showing you. But the large structures that we're going to be looking at, well, they're going to look pretty small to us. Like, for example, 30, 40 kilometers, this object here. You know, when you zoom up on them, you could see that you're literally looking at shapes that are sitting either upon the craters or on the craters' edges. And you can see that they have 90-degree angles. Some of them have... Um, lines most of them connecting each and every one of the objects but they have the same reflectivity as the rest of the surface so people are expecting to see you know different colors and and things pop up well the moon is very colorful but it's near impossible to see it just by looking at the moon because we just see a gray moon and that's a lot to do with our eyes and the fact that we're looking at something in space there are constructed objects on the surface, very intriguing. And these patches that I talked about that are deliberately or look deliberately placed in certain areas, you can't help but wonder about them. The black triangles that I showed you near Cassini, let me get, I'll get a circle up on Cassini. That's Cassini over there along the Terminator line. And look here, the Apennine Mountains, you can see, whoa, all those triangles there on the surface. If they're shadows or not, I don't know. But um, again, I'm just showing them. And, 
uh, with reason, there's hygienists on the left, with reason to mention it, my friends, because we're seeing dark structures on the moon. I've showed them before, and I think thousands of people have in, um, you know, the, in the past years. So this beautiful object, uh, quickie, I've showed it before, it's going to show it to you a couple of angles this way and that way. And either way, you can't help but say, uh, you know, I'm not saying anything else except for this object looks out of place, right? If it was naturally formed, I don't know how the hell something 30 kilometers long could naturally form itself like that. And this even longer. And again, along the crater's edge, you can see those straight lines. The surface is gray. So when you look here, you see energy sources everywhere. They're connected to things. Bring down the exposure. Take a nice look there and adjust with your green filter for your eyes. Uh, you could see the beginning of structures and that's what I'm trying to show. Now these look like creatures. This is inside of the smoke. I mean, I'm pressed up on the surface where you obviously, if there was no dot, would see nothing. But what's going by in the screen for me is intriguing but signs of ufos are plentiful right as you see here and always that proof of the smoke beside it showing you that it's really inside of those hazes that are on the surface or over top of the surface whether it be a natural um, formation or phenomenon of something happening making smokes come up always off the moon you know swamp gas come on but seriously here's uh, the recent one Copernicus that I'm showing you uh, really close up which is um, you know everyone can just see it's a nice magnification uh, not even too blurry uh, it depends on what you're looking for <laughs> I'm looking for that light that's there in the center and to show it I'm gonna have to get in very close so 40 kilometers the whole screen here what do you think of that the screen you just saw before the whole screen think of it i'm showing a part of the edge right here of copernicus crater Coper copernicus crater is 80 kilometers right if i'm not mistaken well we're looking at about 40 here maximum and it's on the edge where there are either pockets or holes or darkness or maybe it's something uh you know traveling along the surface and we're seeing it bend it around but those lights that are up there and that have the black dots beside them are the ufos many of them could be parked all over the surface inside of the lights of the crater so spot the lights with your telescopes my friends merci benoit pocket pour toutes les contributions mon frère pull up pull up Pull up. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>